So please join me in giving a resounding welcome to the stage, AMD President and CEO, Dr. Lisa Sue. San Francisco, and thank you for joining us for Ryzen Tech Day. I think a few of you are excited. Is that true? I think you can do a little bit better than that, no? Look, today is a really big day for AMD, and actually, it's a really big day for all PC gamers and content creators and everybody who loves high performance processors. Today is all about Ryzen. Our goal is to show you product specs, benchmarks, demos, maybe a few other things. And most of all, we're here to answer your questions because the time for Ryzen has arrived. So all right, let's start. You know, when you take a look at where we've been, it's really been a journey. For those of you who've been with AMD and followed us for a long time, you know that we are about high performance technologies. And AMD is at our best when we are delivering game-changing products. It is all about building great products for us. It's what drives every single AMD employee. It's what we wake up and go home at night thinking about. And it's about putting really, really ambitious goals out there, giving our engineers the freedom to innovate, and never giving up. So with that, we talk a little bit about our strategy. Over the past few years, we've become incredibly focused. And our focus is really on two key things. It's all about high performance, and we have high performance graphics, and we have high performance computing. And we're the only company in the world that can put those two pieces together. So we'll use the best computing at the right time. And that's what makes us special. And over the last 12 months, we've actually made great progress. We are actually extremely proud of the customers who have chosen AMD as their partner. And it really is about bringing great products to market, not just for us, but with our partners. And so if you look at game consoles, Sony PS4 Pro, Microsoft Xbox One S, if you look at the PC market and all of the innovation that was out with the Apple MacBook Pro, and then you look at HP, Dell, Lenovo, Google, all of these are people that we call our partners, and we're very, very proud of that. Now, the one thing that drives all of this, if you remember one thing about AMD, what I want you to remember is high performance computing. This is the enabler of all of the product innovation that we've talked about. It defines the user experience. Whether you're a gamer, or you're a content creator, or you love VR or AR, or you're trying to solve the world's hardest problems in the data center in the cloud, or in education, or in research, it's all about high performance computing. There's so, so few companies in the world who can deliver this, and AMD is one of those companies. Now, why are PCs so cool? And yes, I'm going to say AMD loves the PC. PCs actually are the way so many people get to experience high performance computing. We are pushing those limits every day. Whether you're a gamer or a content creator or you're on social media, it's a new way of living. And it's about enabling all of that computing horsepower to an order of magnitude, more people. That's what we think about when we think about high performance computing. And this is why it's so important to AMD. Now let's talk about Ryzen. You guys have heard a lot about Ryzen, and you're going to hear a lot more. But if you take a look at the path that we've been on, we started Ryzen four years ago. And it was a complete new design. We started it from scratch, we started it with a clean sheet of paper, and we said, we have an incredible amount of freedom to build the high performance CPU for tomorrow. And we wanted to build a CPU that not only served the PC market, 
but really went across all applications, including PCs, all the way through cloud data centers. And to do this, we put hundreds of AMD engineers at work with the idea of that goal. So think about it. Over two million engineering hours, optimizing everything. Processor architecture, process technology, power optimization, physical design, all of this to create what we're gonna show you today. I'm super proud to show you Ryzen as we go forward. Now, we also know there's an incredible amount of market anticipation for Ryzen. Actually, the market momentum is phenomenal. I read many of the comments, whether on message boards or on Reddit or whatever. Um, sometimes I feel very loved. Um, sometimes I feel a little bit hated, um, but mostly loved. And mostly what we wanna say is, look, we hear you, we acknowledge the anticipation around Ryzen, and we are really here to meet and exceed your expectations on Ryzen. So let me start with what we achieved. You remember when we first talked about Ryzen, we said, we are going to increase the instructions per clock by 40%. That was our ambitious goal. Some people said we couldn't do it. Some people said it was a paper study. Well, I'm very proud to tell you today for the first time, we not only beat the goal, we beat it by a lot. The rise in performance in instructions for clock <laughs> is over 52%. Thank you, Mark Papermaster and team. I am so proud of the accomplishment here because this is the type of thing you only do once in a decade. Now, I can also show you for the first time today, Ryzen is here. This is a production die shot of Ryzen. You will see our eight core 16 thread die. You know I'm a semiconductor geek. You know I love these kinds of pictures. I can tell you over 4.8 billion transistors over 2,000 meters of signal wiring. To me, it's gorgeous, and it represents so many hours, so many people, so many challenges overcome. And I can tell you, we're running lots and lots of these wafers. But perhaps even more exciting is I can show you Ryzen the product. So for the first time, take a look at our Ryzen product. This is one of the first off of the manufacturing line. You can believe we're building lots and lots of these right now. Every Ryzen processor in manufacturing will have the Ryzen logo etched on the lid with an incredible amount of horsepower under the hood. What do you think about Ryzen? I think you guys are going to get some of your Ryzen this afternoon, so you can take some more pictures. Um, so let's talk about the product. We told you our brand name is Ryzen, our overall brand is called Ryzen. We will call the 8 core 16 thread version Ryzen 7. Let's get into some of the details. If you recall, we've demoed quite a few uh, Ryzen's on different occasions, including uh, last, uh, last year. And those are in engineering mode. But those are running at base clocks of 3.4 gigahertz. The production version of that processor is now called the Ryzen 7 1700X. This guy runs at 3.4 gigahertz space. It boosts up to 3.8 gigahertz in boost mode, running at 95 watt TDP. And I can tell you, this guy is great for gamers and for content creators. So I'm gonna show you just a couple of benchmarks going forward. Ryzen 7 1700X, in Cinebench multi-threaded mode. We know that this is the, the, the uh, benchmark that you guys look at when you look at CPU performance. If you take a look at our scores and compare it to the Intel 6900K, running in the same enclosure, same everything, same system, we actually beat the 6900K, a $1,000 processor with our Ryzen 7 1700X. 
And if you actually compare it against the next guy, which is the 6800K, we actually beat the 6800K by 39% in Cinebench multi-threaded, because we have eight cores, 16 threads. So that's a heck of a lot of performance in this processor. Now, we actually have a couple more processors for you. So sitting underneath the 1700X is the Ryzen 7 1700. This guy is the highest performance 8-core, 16-thread at 65 watts. Very, very nice. And then on top of that, we have our flagship CPU, which is the Ryzen 7 1800X. And now I'm going to show you what the 1800X can do. The 1800X has a base clock frequency of 3.6 gigahertz. We really looked at how do we tune this processor technology, and it brings the boost all the way up to 4 gigahertz. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> the best part of this guy is there's more to come. Because we talked to you about XFR, if you have better cooling, and we've also talked to you about overclocking. And when you take the 1800X up in really nice systems, you're going to see higher performances than this. So let's take a look at some live demos of the 1800X in action. And what I'd like to show you is Cinebench uh, running live. Uh, what we see is Ryzen 7 1800X on the right, going head to head against Intel 6900K. And as you guys know, we're rendering you know, one of these complex 3D models. And we're watching to see which one of these finishes faster. We have a couple more seconds to go. It's tight. But you can see it as this completes, the 1800X finishes faster than the 6900 by about 9%. So this actually says, I can say today, that the Ryzen 7 1800X is the fastest 8-core desktop processor in the market. Now, multi-thread performance is very important, and we do love more cores and more threads, but I also want to show you single-thread performance, because that is also important. So if you run the same Cinebench demo in single-threaded performance, you'll see it's actually roughly a tie. So 1800X roughly ties the 6900K in terms of single-threaded performance. And note that this is sort of in a stock system. If you run it with a fancier motherboard and with XFR and maybe with some other you know, overclocking going, you might even find your 1800X beating the 6900K. I'll let you guys try that when you demo the systems yourself. But fabulous. We're very, very excited about the 1800X. And let me round out the portfolio with the Ryzen 7 1700. As I said, we want to make eight core processors accessible to everyone. You're going to see some of the applications that can use all of these cores and all of these threads. So in this case, we compare the Ryzen 7 1700 versus the Core i7 7700K, the latest Cabby Lake processor. No question that they have higher frequency, but we have more cores and more threads. And when you run that in Cinebench multi-threaded, we beat the competition by a lot. And it's true that many, many applications are actually being written for these uh, newer processors. So, some applications will be able to use the multi-cores and multi-threads, some won't, but we believe that the processor of the future will really be designed to use these multi-threaded capabilities, and so we love what the 1700 brings to the uh, ecosystem. So we talked a lot about CPU benchmarks, but I want to spend some time talking about gaming. All right, you know we love gaming, you know we stand for gaming, what you're seeing here is actually a gaming demo showing the new Sniper Elite 4. And both systems are actually using our dual Radeon RX 480s in Crossfire. On the left-hand side, you see Intel 6900K. On the right-hand side, you see Ryzen 7 1800X. 
You can also see the uh, grains per second in the upper right there. You can see both are running about mid-70s or so. And the most important thing of this is to tell you, you want applications like this to run in 4K gaming, where the CPU can actually keep up with the GPU. And in this particular case, you can see Ryzen, along with the 6900K, is actually running a beautiful 4K gaming experience. I think this is one of the most gorgeous games that are out there recently. And that's exactly what we set out to do. Gaming is all about the experience and all about unlocking the experience. And so having a CPU that can keep up with the best graphics cards in the industry is really what we set out to do. What do you think of Sniper Elite? and what it does in high-end CPU performance and 4K gaming. Now let's look at one more demo that shows Ryzen for content creators who work a lot with video. And let's start the demo, guys. It takes a couple minutes here. All right, the demo we're using in this case is Handbrake. You guys are very, very familiar with Handbrake. It's an open source video format conversion tool that allows um, end users and hardware reviewers to translate video content. And this is a baseline uh, conversion of a 4K 60 frames per second uh, file converting to a 1080p 30 frames per second file. And what you see on the left is Intel, and what you see on the right is Ryzen 7 1700. And remember, content creation, this stuff loves more cores and more threads. And so the thing that you should be looking for is um, the little green bar. And the little green bar tells you how fast uh, these things are converting. It'll take us just uh, another few seconds to complete. But if you think about how many people at home want to do their own video editing, this is really, really cool. Really important as we look at the next uh, level of users. And you can see rising 61.8 seconds. My other friend's not finished yet. And the competition at 71.8 seconds. That's 10 seconds faster with the Ryzen 7 1700. And this is just a small file. Imagine what you do with large files. So depending on which conversions you run, you might get a couple of different answers. But the end result is Ryzen 7 1700 wins every single time. So, with that, let me talk a little bit about the ecosystem. And by the way, many of our ecosystem partners are here in the audience today, so I really want to thank them. It's been an incredible journey working with our ecosystem partners and seeing the excitement. And I could not be prouder of the AM4 ecosystem. We showed you some of these designs at CES last month, but for the end user, the most important point is you guys have choice. There's incredible choice for the AM4 ecosystem. Every major motherboard vendor has an AM4 Ryzen platform, multiple AM4 Ryzen platforms. We will have more than 82 motherboards at launch. This is our best ecosystem ever. And for those of you who want to buy your systems pre-built, we also have a large array of options here. We have more than 19 boutique PC builders that will be available on day one of launch, and that will increase over the next 30 days to 200 different system builders worldwide that will have Ryzen-based systems. And these systems, as you know, will be absolutely gorgeous and have tremendous capability. So as we move forward, you can not only expect the boutique system builders, but over the next couple of months, you can expect every major OEM to have a gaming tower with AMD Ryzen. Again, this is the broadest ecosystem that we've had because there's tremendous pent-up demand for Ryzen. Okay, so now we've gone through products, we've gone through performance, we've gone through ecosystem, 
And I know everyone is wondering about rising pricing. And this is actually the most fun, because I get a lot of advice about what we should or should price rising at, for many of you, actually, uh, telling us what we should do. Um, but our focus, actually, is on the users. It's on the PC ecosystem. And when you look at the PC market today, there are just a large number of users who want a game in 4K, or they want to create and share content, including photos and videos, or you might even want to design your own thing, your own house, your own um, product. And you need a heck of a lot of performance to do that. But we also realize that most PC CPU buyers don't want to spend more than $500. In fact, 99% of the people will buy CPUs less than $500. And so we had one goal in mind with Ryzen. We wanted to disrupt the PC market. We wanted to bring innovation, choice, and performance to as many people as possible. And so this is about bringing high performance computing to an order of magnitude more people. So with that, let me talk to you about the rise in pricing. We start first with the 1800X. I told you this is the fastest eight core desktop processor in the market today. We have the results to show you. Our competition is priced at $1,000. single employee, 
I could not be more proud of Ryzen. I could not be more proud of what we're going to bring to the PC market. 2017 is going to be an incredible year. Thank you very much for your incredible support.